What's up guys, you're watching Jane Boy TV and we are back with another reaction. Today we'll be reacting to Eminence Front by The Who. This is suggested by a patron, so you know I had to check it out. If you guys are new to the channel, take a second to scroll down, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss a video when I post. It helps out the channel tremendously. And if you guys are interested in exclusive content or you want to ensure that I react to your suggestion, definitely consider checking out the Patreon. The link will be in the description. I have tons of reactions to classic songs that got blocked here from YouTube, songs that I know you guys would enjoy. That being said, let's get right into this video.
say jamming song by The Who. Man, this song had a lot of funk to it. I love how this song intro and then it just built up. Whatever contraption was making those noises in the beginning. I love those sounds. The bass line was awesome on this one. The drums are crisp and the guitars added a whole bunch of flavor. I love that solo around the minute 30 mark. It was played with a whole bunch of swagger and style. I enjoyed the vocals on this as well. He had a great delivery and I love how he would do that descending scale when he would say, come and join the party dressed to kill. Like that was super catchy. And man, he was calling some things out in the lyrics. He said, the sun shines and people forget. The spray flies as the speedboat glides and people forget, forget they're hiding. And I'll paraphrase from a couple of other verses. He said, the girls smile and people forget. Drinks flow, people forget. The big wheel spins, the hair thins, people forget. The news slows, people forget. Their shares crash and hopes are dashed. People forget, forget they're hiding. Man, he's really pointing some things out here. What I get from this is something we talk about here frequently on the channel. People putting up a facade, hiding behind it. People putting their hope and dreams in things that are fallible, material, and temporary. I feel like he's pointing out that there's more to life than these things that temporarily gratify your desires. Like basically there's no intrinsic value in these things. He said the stock crashes, your hopes are dashed. You're on a speedboat having a blast, but it only lasts for a short amount of time. You got a luscious head of hair, that hair might start thinning one day. And he's calling this an imminence front. What I take from that phrase is that the things that people are putting their value into will mean less and less the closer you get towards the end. And I feel like he's saying it's a futile way to live due to the fact that these things can and will come crashing down. And I also feel like he's talking about the mindset behind it. You know, keeping up with the Joneses or just having like an air of superiority. It's almost like the higher up you move in the world, the more cutthroat it is. Cause he's saying, come and join the party dressed to kill. So don't come and try to have fun with friends and have a good time in the company of other people. Come ready to kill. Come ready to assassinate characters, step on heads, kill the hopes and dreams of anybody in your way. Throw your morals out the window so that you can succeed. So I feel like he's really calling out the mindset behind living this way and operating this way in the world. Just being really disingenuous and maybe even nefarious at times. People are hiding behind an imminence front and the imminence is that it will come to an end and things will be exposed. You do not want to be caught up in an imminence front. This is a great song, great recommendation from you guys. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll catch you guys on the flip. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in helping to steer the ship in terms of where the music goes, you'll definitely want to check out that Patreon. You'll be able to get your suggestions to me directly. You can get your favorite deep cuts reacted to or even just your favorite songs. On top of that, you'll have access to exclusive content, songs that got blocked here from YouTube from legendary artists like the Beatles. So if you want your suggestions to be the priority, definitely check out the Patreon at this link. You won't be disappointed. Hope to see you there.